Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making some uh, multi-purpose surface cleaner with um, a couple of products that I normally use. Um, I haven't been able to find counter spray anywhere from like Lysol or bleach. That's what I normally use. And I've just kind of been using a bucket and a sponge like this. It's real small, it's not too big. Um, with Clor Clorox and Pine Sol mixed together. Um, that's normally what I use to mop my floors anyway, and it says that it's multi-purpose, so I assume that I can use it on my counters, and it says that I can, so we're going to go ahead and do it. Um, I couldn't find any industrial bottles that I wanted, um, that are meant for chemicals, so I found this in the garden center at Walmart. Um, it's only 24 ounces, which again kind of sucks because I wanted it to be way bigger, and I wanted to do it on a 32 ounce scale, um, or at least 64 ounce, half a gallon at least, um, but I couldn't find either, so this is going to have to work. I've already done the math for it. Um, this right here is what I use for jello shots, but I'm gonna use it anyway because I don't have a like thing that you measure and mix with. I have these, but not the, I don't know, I don't bake, so that's why. This is two ounces and that's what we're gonna use as a guide. So you can actually see how much you need and it's not much mathematically um, for 24 ounces of spray. And honestly, I think this is cheaper than buying Lysol or bleach anyway, but we won't get into that. Okay, so I have a teaspoon here. Um, just for reference, that a six teaspoons equals one ounce. Three is half an ounce, just FYI. Let's see if I can get this. So you need one, two, three of pine salt, which is half an ounce, and you need an ounce of Clorox, yeah, I think that's right, um, I'm not left handed so we're not going to do that. Not too worried about it being precise just because cleanish cleaner at the end of the day um, and when I mop I literally just pour a bunch in the bucket and use hot water um, and it does just fine okay now I got to get it in this thing so let's see how I'm going to figure that out man I've really really got to get some actual kitchen tools um, you know what Maybe I can like, yeah, we're going to scoop it. I am sure there is an easier way to do this. But again, just using what you have at home will be just fine. I hope this doesn't burn the bottle because I don't know what it's made out of. I tried to look at the label. Um, it had the big box out there, but it didn't show what it was made of. So I can see like if the chemical in it would burn it. Um, it hasn't so far. I don't feel anything burning or tingling my fingers. Again, you probably want to use gloves. I'm not. So hopefully my lab instructor is not watching me do this. Um, so yeah. Uh, and all you do is fill this up. It needs to be filtered water. You want filtered water um, to fill that up with. And look how small, look how like a little bit of product, it's all you need literally for 24 ounces. And this is what it looks like after it's already been filled up with filtered water. So this amount literally makes this entire bottle of filter or of um, multi-surface cleaner. And literally look how much that took out of my pine sole, like almost nothing. So, oh, and I use, I bought these rags to use. Um, these are multi, these are, uh, also from Walmart, they're great value. Um, microfiber cleaning towels. I actually read these instructions and you can definitely use them uh, for this to pick up Clorox and Pine Salt. Uh, just keep in mind that the Clorox may bleach the towels, which is fine. I That's how I'll differentiate my uh, towels from being cleaning to not cleaning. Um, and it comes with two, they were 98 cents. 
So literally this all in all. So I think this was $3 for 48, 48 full ounces. Um, the Clorox for 55 full ounces was $2.50. So that's $5.50 a product plus this, which was pretty much a dollar. So we'll say $6.50 and then the bottle was $2.00. So that's what we're at, eight fifty. I bought two of them, obviously. Uh, so I'm at what, ten fifty now. And then filtered water. If you have a, I have a Brita thing on my thing, so water's free. So for ten fifty, I got way worth my buck. I mean, this I literally probably can make how many's in there? Forty eight full ounces, and you only need <laughs> three teaspoons. Um, so it can last for a really long time. Just keep that in mind when you're cleaning. Um, I hope this helps somebody. And yeah. Uh, bye guys.